I spent the day with NetCare911's EMS staff, the people who do extraordinary work as a routine. I joined pilot Paul Bardnos and the medical team Jerry Bauer and Avi Lang as they prepared for their shift. They run us through the start of their day. Basically it starts waking up at 4, with a nice cup of coffee and a long drive to Rand Airport. Uh, we arrive here at the heli base and uh, we have a quick handover from the night staff. They tell us you know, if they did anything the previous evening, if they did, if they used any stock, uh, if we need to replace anything. We just kind of get a handover, make sure that the, the helicopter is ready to go. Um, then uh, myself and uh, Jeremy went, go out and uh, we check the, the heli and we just make sure that everything's in place, everything's on board and should the call come in, we're ready to go. While waiting for their first call, they get some much needed coffee. The call comes through, a seriously injured patient needs to be transported. Within minutes they are on the helicopter and we take to the skies. I'm currently in NetK2, one of the NetK911 EMS helicopters and behind me the two paramedics are busy assisting this gentleman who was injured in a motor vehicle accident outside Corpusdal last night. He's being taken to a hospital in Springs for further care. It's a 12 hour day. The team responds to calls dealing with motor vehicle accidents and a teenager injured while playing rugby. Some flights take only a few minutes, others almost an hour one way. At the end of a very long day, the men who jokingly call themselves the A-Team congratulate each other on a job well done, thankful that all their patients survived. 